Hello there, welcome to my review for the 2019 movie Parasite. This is a Korean film directed by Bong Joon-ho. I'm sorry if I uh, pronounced that name wrong. Uh, director of Snowpiercer, which I really love. That was a really, really unique uh, movie that I just found fascinating. And um, I was really anticipating for Parasite. I thought the trailers looked really, really well crafted. And I was really looking forward to seeing what this film could give me. And I really had no clue what this film was before I went to go see it. And oh my god. This is a movie. This is a proper movie. Yay. Oh, I loved this film! It is so good. i blown away by it. I really, really adored Parasite. It's so well crafted. This is a movie that is just so well made in every moment. The shots are incredible. The immersivity is always there. There's always something you're figuring out. There's always something that's you're thinking in your head about what could come next or thinking about things from before the film that matter so much in the end of the film. This is a truly phenomenal film and let's just talk about one specific thing in this movie for a minute. And it's the story, which I don't want to fully spoil because I had no clue what the story was for this film. It's simple and it's really interesting, but the way it tells it is fascinating, and that's where this movie comes into play, really amazingly. There's so many things they could have done with this story, there's so many directions it could have takes, but it still ends up making it simple, which is what I really appreciated about this film. And Parasite, I thought, was a really great movie. The lighting, direction, the way the entire movie looks is amazing. The shots, from the opening shot to the ending shot, I was completely and utterly riveted by this film. And the shots here are magnificently well set up. And the characters are really interesting, the way the characters are set up. You have this poor family trying to basically intercept this richer family. And each of them are getting these different jobs within the house. And you don't really know what their plan is. And it actually took me a while. It took me about, like, I would say about an hour in to actually figure out what the movie was about. And this is a movie with certain moments in it that just fascinate you. And you realise what the movie is about. You realise where the messages are kicking in. And in those moments, you just sit there and think to yourself and think, Ah... And it all comes together, and it's just like that realisation in a film. And it's just like, this This is amazing. And even though I was watching it for the first hour, not really getting what the story was about, I was fascinated to see it progress, because it immersed me in the characters already, it immersed me in the world that these, movie, that these characters are in. And that's what I really appreciate, you really get this amazing situation. But this movie isn't just, it, it's not very dark, depressing, very thrilling, the humour is also there, and it's done very, very well, and I really love that. The musical score, oh my god, the musical score. I got chills many moments in this movie just from that score. Fantastic. And the production design as well, amazing how it presents the poor family's house and the rich family's house. It's a really exhilarating sequence in a flood, which I thought was fantastic, and the scene that followed was really heartwarming. The first act is mainly set up, and you're mainly trying to figure out what's going on, because each of these members of the family are getting different jobs in this rich, pe uh, um, in the rich people's house, and you're sort of trying to figure out what they're sort of doing. And when you figure out what their plan is, it's really, really intuitive, and it's really, really well done. And then when it comes into the second act, now you know what's going on, and it, the film expects you to figure out already what's going on by that time, it lets loose on everything crazy, and this movie gets really intense, there's a really intense situation, and it's just amazing. A movie, a normal movie would just put that as one scene in the film, but this movie has it as an entire second act, and leads into its third act so, so swiftly, where you don't even recognise it, you don't even recognise that you're watching a film, because you're just, you're just really, really into their situation, and... The thing is about this film is that there's certain moments here. It's a film filled with little moments, and then big moments, and then nothing at all. And that mixture, I thought, balanced out really, really well between really big, epic, tense moments and really small character moments. There was a moment in the film which made me realise how great it truly was. And even though I'm reading subtitles throughout the entire film... I am really invested in what these characters are saying, because the dialogue, the script here is fantastic. 
and I'm reading dial I'm I'm reading the text at the bottom of the screen for the majority of the film, trying to find out what's going on. And it's invests me even more in that aspect because it allows you as the audience to make you think while watching the film. It's like a, a lesson, this movie, on how to make a movie. And that's what I love. I love this movie out there today like this. And um, I really appreciated that. But there's a moment in the film where it really stuck out to me how amazing these performances are and how amazing this film set itself up. Uh, there's a scene where they're discussing the a piece of art and uh, what it means. And it links back to a situation that we then learn about uh, one of the characters. Uh, try not to spoil it, so that's may be a little confusing if you haven't seen the movie. Um, and the reaction that that got from the other person was really chilling. And it sent shivers down my entire body. I was just like, oh my god, that doesn't feel like a performance. That feels like a genuine reaction. And that really affected me. And there's entire, there's so many themes in this movie. There's so many little messages that kick in that start to affect you. And that's why I love Parasite. I think it's a really amazing movie. I only have one little flaw with this movie, and that is when it's in its third act, its third act isn't as interesting as its second. Its second act is really white-knuckled and really tense, and its third act slows him down a little bit. And that pacing just dips a little bit there, and then you have a really epic moment of bloodshed where just craziness happens, and you're just like, whoa, this really took me off guard. Holy crap, what's going on? Oh my god! And it's really fantastic. And um, then it's over. And it's like, oh, I just need a little bit more of that. So sometimes when this movie is at its best, it doesn't give you enough of that. But I like how it only gives you small bits of that, making you want more of stuff like this. And I really hope this director plans to make more movies like this, because this movie's fascinating. I loved it. The way the movie wrapped itself up was also really well, really well done, because it ends on a happy note. And then it adds one little scene in there, you're just like, oh, maybe not. And it sort of leaves you with a very sour taste in your mouth. It leaves you with a sick feeling. And it's like, oh, maybe not. Who knows? And I love movies that end like that, where you think it's ended, and then there's just a little moment on the end. That you're just like, oh, wow. That affected me. And then that links into the message. And there's a conversation that the father has with his son early in the movie. And you realise that's what the entire movie's about. That one little conversation, that one little message he has to his son is what this entire film is about. And that sticks to you at the end. And then you think back to that conversation just by the use of one word. The entire theme of this movie comes into play. And it's one of those movies where it's so intricately interwoven together. It's so well-crafted, even, that sometimes you don't even recognize how amazing the movie is. And when certain moments you see them, you then link it back to other moments you saw in the film. It's so incredibly immersive. I have a few nitpicks with the film. I'm really struggling to find flaws. This is a fantastic movie. It's not one of my all-time favorites of the year. It's not one I'm going to go back and rewatch all the time. It's a film that I don't want to rewatch, but I feel that a rewatch will be necessary. But still, um, it's not one of my all-time favourites of the year, but it's one that I feel brings back the amazement of what movies should be. And this is one of the best movies I've seen so far this decade, and I think it's really, really well done. And even though I do have a few nitpicks with it, I just, I love it. It's truly amazing. It made me really happy. The music is fantastic. The performances are brilliant. And even though, for the majority of the runtime, I'm reading subtitles, what these characters are saying, the script, the plot, the direction, everything in this movie, everything put together, making one fantastic film. I'm going to give Parasite an A. I'm also going to give it a 9 out of 10. It's maybe a bit too early to tell if I've ungraded this film. Um... It may go up after thinking about it. It's a movie that the more I think about, the more I appreciate and the more I love. So this rating may go up, uh, but I know this movie was amazing. And please see it if you have the chance to. I really loved it. Guys, comment down below your opinions on Parasite if you have seen it. And of course, thank you for watching, and goodbye.